welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got just about to get underway and getting the start. Garrett Cole. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Throw on to Rizzo. That takes care of Buxton. Rod Carew. Rod Carew, the next twin up to hit. Carew enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. In the air, left field, Kirilov moving under this one. He makes the grab. Out number two. Batting third. But a shortstop. Carlos. Correa. And here comes Carlos Correa. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone, and when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. Stays alive. No score, just getting started, top of the first. On the ground to short. LeMahieu gets it to first. That takes care of Correa. Nothing doing here for the Twins. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. And fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. DJ LeMayhew stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. This one popped up. Two away. Batting third. The right fielder. Aaron Judge. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. First pitch, and he just misses. And a curve drops in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And the righty deals. That one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. So the Yanks go in order. We played an inning. No score. Harmon Killebrew getting ready to hit. Killebrew, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And... There's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's the veteran outfielder, Torrey Hunter. Hit hard on the ground to short. And there's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Batting six. The, the batter base. now, Jorge Polanco. Jorge. Polanco. 
You know, Berg, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Got him! And that is a big first out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Out to short, into the outfield, base hit. And the Twins score first. It's one zip. Now the tag at third, and they got him. That's heads up play right there. The outfielder knowing he has no shot at the runner at home, so comes up trying to cut that runner off at third and does a really nice job. Got to appreciate that. And stepping in is the speedy David Ortiz. Tap back up the middle. In plenty of time. The first. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. And welcome back. And now the veteran third baseman, Josh Donaldson. There's a strike. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Got him. That's one out the bottom of the second. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Takes it in for the out. Two outs, space is empty. And next for New York, Miguel Andujar. That one's in there on one. And that's in there at the knees. Got him. That is the inning. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Nick Gordon. Cole back to work. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Well, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Next offering upstairs. And a pitch. This one in the air center field. And Ciarte settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. One away. Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one is back. He brought it back. Well, he just took one away from one of the best in the league. It's not going to happen very often, but when you get the opportunity, better make the play, and he did right there. Carew stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. The wind of the pitch. Rip to third. Knocks it down. Donaldson tosses the first in time. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Twins retired in short order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Anthony Rizzo steps to the play. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Late on that fastball. Got him swinging. And there's one down. 
just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Left hand hitter waits. That's down and in. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Line drive, base hit. And up next for New York, Ender and Ciarte. 0 for 1 after striking out looking to start the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Got him. Third out. One left for... And welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Carlos Correa. Bounce to the left side. Throw on to Rizzo. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Harmon Killebrew. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters' meeting before this game started. LeMayhew oh. gets it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. So two down now, and here is Tory Hunter. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. In the air, out towards left center. Racing makes the catch. And that. Ready to go, bottom four. And stepping in for the Yankees, DJ LeMayhew. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That one the other way. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. No outs. Runner at first. Here is Aaron Judge. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hard the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. He popped out his first time at the belt and fires. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Sanchez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's a speed threat. Jorge Polanco. The pitch. Line drive caught. Gary Sanchez now. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. He was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. So up next for Minnesota, David Ortiz. 
in there for strike one. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. And that hit carries a little extra meaning, Boog. It keeps his hitting streak going. He is dialed in at the dish right now. I don't think there's a more confident hitter in all of baseball right now. Looks like he's expecting a knock every time he steps to the plate. Here's your one. That one ripped left field. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends one out the opposite way. Home run number five on the season. It's 3-0. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Byron Buxton. And first offering is fouled off. And he chases a high fastball there. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 3 nothing. Bottom of the inning, here's Miguel Andujar. Leading off for the Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Right through there, got him. One down. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And... You know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Next pitch is downstairs. The punch out there. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Here's Alex Kirilov. You know, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Next offering is down low. And there's a ball. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next offering is downstairs. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. The next offering misses. It's two and two. And down on strikes. And that'll do it. The Yanks leave one. Back here at the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. And now the DH, Rod Carew. And first offering is fouled off. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. Around second now, going for three. And he's in to third base with a leadoff triple. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Clay Holmes comes on now, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. 
Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Throw on to Rizzo. That's out number one, and a run comes in to score. And now the first baseman, Harmon Killebrew, one for two. It's softly on the ground to third. A dive, he's got it. It's there, and that's a great play. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Hunter now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Joely Rodriguez getting ready to go. Herman getting loose as well. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Twins four, and the Yankees nothing. And CRT in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. And a pitch. That's to third. Slings it across. One away, bottom of the sixth. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. And that's in there for strike one. And the pitch stays alive. And the right hander deals. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. It's Aaron Judge now. In there, and it's 0 1. Now, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. And that's a base hit into left field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Judge off of first with two away. Next pitch misses, ball one. And a swing and a miss there. The one two. And that's down it away. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Next one just misses. And the count's full. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit, mechanics. can drop off and we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October Torres in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike this to center field Polanco moving under it puts the squeeze on it and that is the third out of the year. we go to the top of the seventh and now for the twins Jorge Polanco the right hander back to work that's in there. Going one. Righty delivers. Up the middle. Loves it on the dive. In time. Got him. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken-in glove. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer. Pop back up to the feet and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. Here's Gary Sanchez now. First offering misses the mark. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And one and two. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Got him. Two gone. Two outs, space is empty. And next for Minnesota, David Ortiz. David Ortiz. And first offering is fouled off.
Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Higashioka up with it to first. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Twins full. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Miguel Andujar. For the Yankees, the designated hitter. The pitch. Miguel Andujar. And a foul ball. The Yankees looking to rally. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. And he grounds one to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. And one away in the bottom of the seven. Now that first baseman, Anthony. So up next, Anthony Rizzo. In there for strike one. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. One and two. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Yanks held in check. They hand the ball over to a new arm. Zach Britton hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. And now for the Twins, Nick Gordon. And the pitch. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. They got Shioka to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Back to the top of the lineup, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Byron Buxton. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Chopped out in front of the play. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Digging in, Rod Carew. Pickoff throw, Buxton back easily. And there's a foul ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two down. No, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to oh, show you how win. defensive hitters can be calm when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. And a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. So first and second with two outs. Harmon Killebrew, the next twin up to hit. Fought off foul. you one. Foul ball. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Buxton on second. Correa at first. Two out of the inning. Next pitch has popped up. And makes the play. And that's out number three. On to the bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. Popped up. Foul territory behind the play. 
Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And Ciarte stands in now and watches strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone now. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. Owen Chu now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he'll two. Got him looking. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go to Yankees. Jonathan Loisica will take over here. And this appearance number 55 for him. And now for the Twins, Torrey Hunter. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Hit weakly on the ground. Has to barehand it. The throw, and that's a great play for the out. And now the big time power threat, Jorge Polanco. Ripped into left center, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And it bangs up against the wall. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. This guy's turned into one of the best catchers in the National League. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Ripped to third and caught. Takes it to the back himself, but he's back in time. David Ortiz, the next to hit. To the right side. Torres over to first. That ends the frame. And welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Aaron Judge at the plate. And Judge spoils that one. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. This skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Donaldson, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Owen oh, as he waves at that one. Stays alive. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. The punch out there, and they're down to their last out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. He caught it behind his back. Gathers and throws, and what a play. Ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command.